Good afternoon. Good evening. Today is January 20th, 2021. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. My name is Julie. I'm coming to you from Newport Coast, California. My dear friend Milo. Milo, please say hello. Hello from Nashville. Milo from Nashville. Thank you, Milo. Every time Milo and I are getting together, there are so many interesting things we'll talk about, but we have recently talked a lot about OnPassive. OnPassive is a real company, real business with real people. And yes, behind OnPassive, which was founded in 2018 by Mr. Ash Mufarad, and we love talking about OnPassive. Mr. Ash Mufarad has a mind of a genius and a heart of gold. And yes, behind the OnPassive is a community of people. We are connecting together. We share the passion and especially share the blessings that Mr. Ash Mufart has um, giving it to us. So today we do have a special guest in our, our show today. And um, we love a lot of the things that our guest today is posting. So Milo, if you could please introduce our guest. Thank you, Julie, thank you. It is so good uh, to be in this company. You know, it is not a MLM and it is not a network marketing. Like you said, it is truly a business that's licensed and registered in 212 countries around the world. And we're excited today. We've got one of our uh, own passive uh, founders that uh, everybody knows him because he posts all the time in the community. He does a lot for the community. He's just a great guy. Let me bring him on now. His name is Bobby DeRob. Welcome, Bobby. Hey guys, how Hello. you doing? Hey Welcome Bobby, how you show. doing? Thanks for having me guys, I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you very, very much. Awesome, <laughs> well man, thanks so much for being here. We see your posts all the time in the community, so we feel like we kind of know you, you know, but uh, it's so nice to meet you on the camera today and to talk to you. And we want to get to know a little bit more about this guy named Bobby DeRog. So uh, <laughs> let's start right at the beginning. Tell us where you were born, you know, how many your siblings that you have, your mom and dad, your family. Give us about three, four minutes of that. Yeah, sure. First and foremost, I'm very grateful that you um, gave me a shout and um, you put me on your wonderful show. You're doing a wonderful, uh, wonderful job here. And I'm really, really grateful to be here. Uh, well, as you know, my name is Bobby DeRog. Um, I've lived in London from birth. I've been there right from the beginning. Um, my parents are originally from India. Um, my mum came over when she was only nine years old, and my dad came over when he was about 21, 22, both married. Uh, I'm the oldest of three. Uh, I have also a brother, and I also have a younger sister. She's the youngest, uh, so she's spoiled, uh, as you can imagine. Um, I'm a married man. Uh, I've been married for nearly 30 years now, believe it or not. I actually got married. I, I got married quite early as well. I was, I was only 21, 22 when I got married. It, it was apparently it was a normal thing to do then. So um, I've got two lovely children. I have a son and I have an amazing daughter um, that I love with all my heart. Uh, all, all, they're, the, they're, they're the apple of my eye, all three of them. And I'll do anything for them, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, so basically that's really, uh, as I said, I was born here, so I've grown up here and, um, and uh, I've been to India, of course, uh, it's a wonderful place. Um, I've gone there so many times, it's unbelievable, I've lost count now, how many times, and my, my wife is from India as well, my wife's from actually Mumbai, um, so that's another reason for us to go all the time, so yeah, that's, that's me, man, that's me. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Wow. That's fantastic, fantastic family, man. I know you've done interesting things in your life, especially in your uh, bio. You said that you have received a champion in karate. And then you have traveled to the highest Sikh temple, which is 16,000 feet above sea level. Tell us the interesting things that you've listed there. Uh, well, with regards to karate, I mean, we... we um... Growing up in London, it was um, it wasn't easy because um, there's racism and there's stuff like that. So uh, me and my brother, we used to have a lot of problems at school. Um, so my dad kind of had enough of it and said, right, I'm going to have to do something about this. 
Uh, so he, he enlisted us into a karate school, which was run by his friend, um, which he's known for quite a long time. And uh, basically, it was, we were learning how to do self-defense. And the thing with me is when I, when I do something that I, I enjoy, that I like, I'll give it my 101%. And obviously, that's what I started doing. And um, occasionally, we would have like um, shows all over the country. And one of the guys used to come down to see us and he, 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 picked, he used to pick me and some other guys. He said, look, we've got a competition coming up. Would you be interested? And I said, well, do you think I can, I'll, I'll be all right? And he said, yeah. So obviously I, I, I was quite good at karate. I, I mean, I, there was a time when I put my leg behind my head, but I can't do that now. Uh, <laughs> I was quite flexible. I could do the splits and everything. And I, was really, my, I was really good with my legs as I was with my hands. Uh, so he noticed that, and and that's when we got into the British uh, competition, uh, and I won it like four four years on the trot, four or five years on the trot. I can't even remember now. Uh, four or five years on the trot, and um, eventually, my wife came along, and I just stopped stopped karate because it was taking too much of my time. <laughs> Married life takes over, you know. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's, uh, and with regards to the Sikh temple, yeah, it's 16,000 feet above sea level. It's called Hem Kunt Sahib. Um, and it's, I will never forget that. I mean, the scenery that we saw, you know, we actually, when we got to the, the peak, I actually started crying <laughs> because I'm, I'm a very scenic guy. Um, scenery is like it's like a blessing if I see it with my eyes and the scenery that we saw uh, it just brought tears to my eyes you know and then I looked over my shoulder and my uncle was with me and he was crying as well <laughs> so we're both standing there crying two two grown men crying at the scenery like you know it's just inc but yeah that was something else really amazing oh uh, that's awesome though, that you know that you could travel around and do that I mean it and uh, <clears throat> You know, and it's it, it's nice to have that freedom and time time freedom that you can do that at this point. When I was reading, uh, you know, I thought Julie was asking about karate. At first, I was thinking 2016, 2017, 2018. No, 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 no. Twenty, you no. were a champion, but now I realize that that was your age when you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was so, you can, so it was quite a long time ago, Milo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was 10 or 20 years ago, something like that. Hey, it, was, it, was a good, it was a good time of my life. I, I enjoyed that time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds, that, that sounds great, you know, and stuff. So, so now in school and stuff, you were a gold medal winner. Uh, what was that about? Well, um, it was, um, it, they used to do a yearly thing where they used to pick the, uh, a child uh, from a certain year. And um, it depended on the grades that you got your attendance, um, your your punctuality, um, and your manner mannerism, and uh, apparently I was better than anyone <laughs> in the school at the time. I mean, I don't know how I done it, but I, I pulled it off. Um, but I was a bit of a teacher's pet anyway because I was. I used to really enjoy studying. Um, I used to really. I mean, maths, uh, history, uh, was well, English even uh, French. We used to learn French art. And it's, I just, I need to really, school was a really good time for me. You know, I really, we need to have our little problems here and then, but who doesn't? But yeah, um, I was quite lucky to get that. Absolutely. And so uh, you also looked like you like traveling. Uh, yeah, I've traveled, as I said, I've already, I've, I've already mentioned India. I mean, I've, I've traveled to India so many times. I've literally lost count now. Um, I've been to Canada. I've been in Canada twice. Uh, I've been to Norway. I've been to France. I've even been to Italy. We went, me, me and my wife, my, our children, gave us a special anniversary present uh, to go to um, Venice. Oh, so cool. we went, Yeah, I mean, Venice is absolutely amazing. Um, we went there. Uh, we even we this, we this, then decided to go to um, Pisa, which is where the Leaning Tower of Pisa is. Oh, yeah. So I thought, why not go and see, as we're in Italy, we might as well go and see one of the wonders of the world. Yeah. Uh, so we went to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I mean, that was just absolutely amazing. I didn't cry, don't worry. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it was absolutely amazing, you know. I mean, it, it was, it's to go to a different place um, and not blend in, just do be yourself. Um, it's one of the most wonderful things about traveling, you know. Um, and that's what I intend to do. 
um, more of um, as soon as I'm capable and, or able to do so. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Um, it looks like you you are a wonderful family man. You've traveled, you've succeeded in, in, in school, now in life. Um, it, it is truly show that when you like something, you truly gonna go 101%. Um, it really showed through a lot of your posts on Facebook in the community that we belong together. So my next question is, the company that we are in right now and where we are connected is uh, connected is on passive. So you are very committed to your family, to your work, and you, I can see that you are very committed to on passive based on a lot of your posts. So why on passive and why now? Wow, uh, how long have we got? <laughs> um, you know, I've been I've been online for oh god, uh, quite a long time to be honest. And I've been I've been I've had my moments, and I've, I've had some unfortunately very uh, many low moments um, with regards to um, trying a venture, trying an opportunity that came along, um, which sadly didn't last or they ran away or stuff like that so <clears throat> but I'm very I'm a very optimistic person I kind of shrug it off and move on because my why is so big as you said I mean with on passive um, I've never seen anything like it to be honest I mean it's um, it every time I talk about it it takes my breath away I mean I'm so I'm so passionate about it I mean I, I'm, I'm maybe as close as passionate as uh, our wonderful um, CEO is maybe, uh, Mr. Ashwin Farah, God bless him. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've not seen anything like on passive in all those years that I've been online. I mean, I've had success, um, but it hasn't lasted. And it wasn't consistent. It wasn't, it was no longevity. Uh, so I ended up going one, two steps back instead of going two steps forward. But I carried on, you know, you shrug it off, as I said, um, oh yeah, I've lost money again, okay, never mind. I mean, my family, God bless them, they think I'm completely mental. Uh, why are you doing this? Why can't you just go to your J-O-B and just wait for your pension? And I said, no, that's, I can't do I mean, I've had so many jobs, Julie, uh, in my life. It's because I cannot, fit in to that job because it's not it's not my calling it's not where I want to end uh, my career or my life so that's why I came online like I time and financial freedom is is everything you know for anybody I mean for me it's more to be honest it's more time because you don't get your time back I mean you can you, you sitting here doing nothing going to work spending eight nine hours at work that time is gone. You're never going to see that again. That's, that's a part of your life that you just lost. And where have you lost it? Somewhere where you don't want to be. So that's the one of the main reasons why I came online. And I carried on and I carried on and I carried on. And then my good friend, uh, Tony Monk, um, I was actually introducing him to a, <coughs> excuse me, I was introducing him to a, a business that I just was going into. And he looked at it and he goes, Bobby, what are you doing? <laughs> said, I've got nothing else to go for. This seems to be working. Uh, he goes, look, forget that. Have a look at this. And I went, oh, what is it? He goes, he, he basically was introducing me to on passive. And I said, okay, I'll have a look. As I said, I'm very optimistic. So I had a look. I saw the videos, the two videos by um, Ash. And I was just blown away. I thought, wow, really? I mean, I thought... I had to look at, I had to watch them two or three times each to actually just catch it. That, did he say that? Did he say that? Is he going to do that? Is he going to do that? And then when, once I, once it had, um, locked in my mind that he is going to do that, I went, where do I sign him? You know, and uh, Tony sent me his link and everything like that. So I, I came into one passive. I actually came into OnPassive in March of 2019. 
Um, yeah, but I was lucky. Um, one of my friends that you've already interviewed, um, interviewed, who, who you've already had as a guest, um, uh, Derek Fentner. Oh yeah, South Africa. He he's a good friend of mine on Facebook as well, and um, he put a post out saying uh, there's a um, there's a founder position going. She's not interested anymore. Who's interested? And the date was for September two thousand and eighteen. Oh, and I went, I went, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> so I've actually got now, I've actually got a founder position going back to two, September 2018 now. So you can, so I'm, but with regards to on passive, it's basically everything that you would ever want in a business, right? Where do I start? You get, it's a ready made business. Um, hands-free passive residual income that grows on a on a daily basis forget monthly it's a daily basis and um, you get you get websites that are spread all over the all over the globe uh, that attract millions of people because i mean our market thanks to the 50 plus state-of-the-art artificial intelligence products or portfolios that we have um our market is like, last I checked was 4 billion people. So you can imagine the volume that's going to be coming in. It's just, I mean, Michael Michael Williams' recent video when he said, well, we're going to be hitting, with free, uh, every three months, we could hit 128 million in 12 months. I mean, that's just mind-blowing. I mean, and you can imagine the volume that we would get as founders uh, with that. And I mean, you get you get that you got your fifty plus products. I mean, we've got our own building for crying out loud. I mean, that's 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 a, that's a, that's like a that's that's a rubber stamp. That's a seal, like you know the candle, the seal that you get when they stamp it. That's that's the rubber stamp. That look, we ain't going nowhere. We're we're here to last or to stay. Um, but when I saw that building, I thought. This is really happening, like you know. This is actually this is we're we're doing this, you know. And then obviously the the founders when they went to the inauguration, twenty nine lucky so and so founders. I'm so <laughs> jealous <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. they went and they walked around and all that. And um, I thought, wow, you guys are so lucky. And um, and the staff, look at this, look at look how happy the staff are. I mean, they've all got a big smile on their face. I mean, you can tell Ash is looking after them. You know, what absolutely. I mean? Yeah. Wow. And that's great. I mean, all of us uh, will get a chance, I'm sure, to uh, get to meet each other at some of these founders' events, and and you know, when they put in all these new places all over the world, which they're going to do. You know, it's good to know it. next I'll be able to point you out and say, I know that guy because I've seen him on video. <laughs> you know. <what> I'm <laughs> I just okay. wanted to quick. I just wanted to quickly mention that I actually did know about on passive back in uh, when it came out, July. I think it came out in July two thousand eighteen, and I was I was introduced to it, but I actually fogged it off. I went, oh, please, <laughs> come on. And then it's just ironic the way I've gone from the way that that position came back to me in for September. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, it's a, it's a sign, right? <laughs> right. Absolutely. I, I almost turned it down, too. I, I got introduced to it on September 1st, 2018. Yeah. Yeah. And I said no for about three, four hours. And then I thought, geez, what if it is? You know, <laughs> because you know how you, you look at something and you say, can't happen. You know, that would be the utopian. You know, I mean, or, I'm feeling, and also for $97, I mean, I I've, I've lost more than that on so many occasions so I mean, well you can buy a good meal for that now almost Absolutely. you know if you go out for yeah. you know a, a meal or something you spend a hundred bucks you know easy, and that's what i got to think i'm like man am i gonna give up this opportunity for just you know that hundred bucks and and really that i i said no i can't do that so i've made that decision which is good. I mean, I so I got my date is September first, two thousand eighteen. So I got in. You know, I was fortunate or whatever that I did jump in right then. But, but anyway, so 
so one thing that I really like about Own Passive is the giving part, you know, and, and yeah. I think uh, Ash has brought this around to, and I like to say that, you know, we're changing the world one person at a time. And it started with Ash Mafaro, you know, and it continues on to all of us founders. When we first started out, it was like, how much money can I make? Yeah. But now we try to get, you know, our heads and our hearts to know that, you know, the money's already a done deal. We've got yeah. more money than we're going to need, you know, but Absolutely. now we can pass it on to other people, you know, yeah. and, and bless other people. And so how can we do that? So expand a little bit on that, what you plan to do that way. Well, I mean, I mean, that's fantastic, Milo. I'm glad you pulled that up because when we, I'm sure I'm not the only one to say this, but when I first came into on passive, I was like, I had dollar signs in front of my eyes and I was thinking, Oh my God, I'm going to make this much money. And then I'm going to buy that. And I'm going to buy this. All my dreams are going to come true. I'm going to buy a Bentley and I'm going to buy a Rolls Royce, all that rubbish. Right. Because it is rubbish now for me because yeah. see, you got, you got to see this person that we're so fortunate to have met Mr. Ash Mufara, he's, he's, he is a genius, right? No, I don't say that because I love him. I'm saying this because psychologically, he is changing us into the way he thinks. And he, we all know how big his heart is. The guy's heart is like bigger than the universe. But he's making us like him, which means that he, he's already, as you said, the money is a done deal. We're right. not even thinking about the money now. What are you going to do when your bucket is full? I mean, when he, when he, you know, he, he said it in one of his founder webinars when he said, "What are you going to do when your bucket's full? You're going to, you're going to buy a, a yacht or an expensive watch. What about that child across the road? He's got no shoes, and you're, you've just bought a thirty thousand dollar watch, and that really, it hit me so hard." I thought, wow, this guy is a, incredible. He's just changed my perspective. And that is, that is, for me, oh, man, I don't even know where to start with regards to good causes and charities. I mean, we know what the world, what kind of world we are in. I mean, whips, women, for us, let's, start, let's start with women, how they're suffering around the world, um, treated as second-class citizens and stuff like that. There's pensioners that are discarded. Uh, animals that are discarded because treated like rubbish, um, disabled people, you know, these all these things. And I actually did a post uh, with regard uh, uh, maybe a few weeks ago, maybe I mean, I'll, I'll do a post as many times. When, whenever I think of something that like, enlightens me, I'd like to share it with my founder uh, family. So I, I was watching a film and the, 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 the child had to take his mum to the hospital. Um, and the doctor said that they, they, they didn't have the National Health Service like we have over here in, in, in the UK. And um, then the doctor came back out, he said, it's going to cost 50,000, whatever. And the child said, I don't have that. He goes, well, we can't do the operation for your mum then. So the child goes out, he goes to his uncle, he goes to his to the shops, he tried to get the medicine and he couldn't get the medicine, he comes back and his mum his, his had passed away. And I was thinking, how many people, how many families lose their loved ones like that? Just because they don't have 5,000 or 2,000 or whatever it is. So I actually did a post where I said, I'm gonna send out a, an, an army of people that I'm gonna employ and they're gonna go, just go to hospitals in these third, for, um, for, for like, like countries like India and most of Asia and stuff like that, even in Europe, unfortunately. And just I'm just going to send them out and then like wherever they said like, oh, we need this much money. Obviously, we're going to see if it's genuine. And then I'm just going to say, look, there you go. Go and fix, go, and, go and make your mum, go and make your mum better. Or well, I mean, it's, it, that's just a small part of what I want to do. I mean, there's so much. I mean, my family, I've got. I've got so much family here and I love them so much. I mean, I want to help them. I've got friends that I want to help, but my main thing is like the good causes. Like we've got a children's hospital here. I'd love to go to the, love just to go to the hospital and just, just help them. You know, things like that. I mean, these, the, the, the world is our oyster when it comes to these kind of things, because we've got the financial freedom, thanks to our wonderful CEO. 
and obviously we've got the time freedom as well. Absolutely. Uh, I love it. I love your heart and I love what you're saying. And unfortunately we're running out of time, but uh, I do, uh, you know, when you were talking about giving to, to people and stuff, and it's kind of cool that instead of giving them money, you can actually give them a membership. And when you give them a membership, they get it every month over and over and over. But what that yeah. does to you is it makes that pot that you got get bigger and bigger and yeah, bigger yeah, as you yeah. give out more, you know, and you're able to give it out. So, well, I mean, it's, it's an unlimited. Um, it's like when you go to a shop uh, like McDonald's and they give you a drink and it's, they say it's bottomless. Yeah. I mean, the financial, the financial aspect of One Passive is the same as that drink. Absolutely. It's just it's, it's not just bottomless. It actually the bottom gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. And I mean, how much do you need? I mean, exactly. you don't need you, 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 what you do is you just share it. I mean, share it. I mean, you know, how many people are going to go to sleep at night saying, "Oh, God bless Bobby." You know, we're all here to earn our wings, aren't we, Milo? That's right, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's awesome stuff. And like we sometimes say, you know, it's almost like an orange. How many how many oranges can an orange create? Well, yes. it's infinite. Because that was fantastic. I love that. I love yeah, that. The every pips. yeah, every orange has seeds, you know, and those seeds make trees and trees fantastic. make more oranges. And that's yeah. the way it is with all paths. If you get a founder, that founder gets founders, and those founders yeah. get founders, and we just grow, you know. I mean, we, you can go back to the Myla, uh, the uh, Michael Williams thing. I mean, in the, in the he was being so conservative when he said three in three months. Yeah. And we're still hitting 128 million people. I mean, it's just, it's, what? It's crazy. <laughs> and we had Michael on uh, last, yesterday. Yeah, I saw, the, I saw the video. Beautiful. Oh fantastic. My God. Great show, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Julie, go ahead. That's okay. I, I love your heart. I love your passion. You are That's one right. of the good seed in the orange. <laughs> uh, you, you know. My wife disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it, it, it is really a funny, uh, it, it's a, a subject that we all talk about. And yes, giving is something that is more satisfying than receiving because we already received it. As you say, Mr. Ashton was for has psychologically yes. turning us into yeah. um, a giving person because it doesn't matter. I mean, the money that we will be making a non-passive is a number where we are, we cannot imagine or we have no. not seen before. So yeah. um, I love the passion and I know that it is, um, we're going out of time already, uh, but I like to still hear um, your word of wisdom to the people that are still on the fence that hasn't really taken wow. the action on okay. passive um, yeah. or the people that already have a founder position and just kind of sitting there and waiting for the launch day. So what yeah. is your yeah. word of wisdom? <clears throat> Well, to be honest, um, there's nothing like on passive, um, and that's hand to heart. Um, I've been scammed, I've been robbed, I've been betrayed, and I, when I saw on passive, I had the same kind of criticism. Um, but Ash has proven to me, as he has proven to. I mean, how many of us are there now? 450,000 plus that he is the real deal. He is, it's a done deal, basically. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing I, I mean, just look at our building. We have our own six story building. So that only makes us go forward. It, we, by the grace of God, we can't go back. There's, we can only just go keep going forward. Um, I know I'll, I'll see it all the time when we're going to launch, when we're going to do this. So it, it, it's irrelevant. It's a done deal. Let Ash do what he has to do. So we have a nice, smooth launch and then we get the longevity and then we can help everyone. With regards to the people on the fence, you need to go and see a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> You are not if you are honestly if you are not in on passive if you don't want time and financial freedom then keep jumping from one program to the other just like i was just like all of us were because you will not find anything like on 
passive, period. There is nothing out there on this earth given to us by God like on passive. And please, if you can, get back to the person that introduced you to on passive and get in before we close for good. I mean, we've got in the soft launch coming up soon. Um, at the moment, founders positions are $97. That's going to go up to $149, which is still a massive discount <laughs> compared to what we get in return because Ash just keeps giving, 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 giving. That's all he that's why that's another thing I want to quickly say because he's giving us he's telling us to give as well another psychological um, trait that he's hitting us with but once that 149 we reach that that's the soft launch and I don't know how long Ash decide, is going to decide to run the soft launch um, but once that stops founder positions are gone forever um, and then you're going to kick yourself Right, because you're not going to find anything really hand to heart you're not going to find anything like on passive so i implore you to get yourself in it's 97 dollars for crying out loud as i said i mean we had a um, chinese the other day it cost me 120 dollars yeah that was a, just a meal i mean come on it's just a, it's just a one night meal right but look what you're getting back in return Absolutely. Absolutely. So don't miss it. Get in there. All right. <laughs> Man, it was so good having you on the show today, Bobby. And unfortunately, like we said, we've, we've run out of time. But, man, thank you so much for joining us and sharing uh, your story with us. And we're going to have it. Julie, take us out of here. That way, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much for spending your time being here with us. Thank your you. true love to On Passive show. So, Yes, everyone, if you listen to this video and you haven't done anything, take the action because that $100 that you spent today will make a big difference in your life, in your children's life, your family life, in someone's life that you want to bless too. I've always said that on passive is a gift to humanity that Mr. Ash Mufarad gave us. And it is a gift that keep on giving. You can give if you take the action. So please, like Bobby said, get back to the person who shared this message with you. And if you haven't um, explored on passive, lock into your back office and start exploring. Thank you so much for watching the Julie and Milo show. Look forward to see you at the next show. Good night from Newport, California. Good night from London. Good night from Nashville.